uh, this neighborhood. You got Lebanon to the north. Remember, that's that's where Iran supports Hezbollah in the north. Um, you got the West Bank here, where I mentioned a moment ago there's been turmoil for several weeks. Uh, Egypt to the southwest and Jordan to the east here. But this is the area of concern. Uh, that's the Gaza Strip. And let's just go into uh, this area of, um, of the Middle East. See all these towns right here, all these villages in Israel, uh, kibbutzim as well. Some of them have like 3,000 people. Some of them have 30,000 people. They've all been cleared out. Tens of thousands of Israelis have been evacuated out of this area, and the Israeli military has moved in because this is the target space right now uh, for the IDF, the Israeli Defense Force, and this is Gaza. What is Gaza? Gaza is a place that is heavily populated, more than 2 million people. Gaza is a place that um, does, well, you got about 24 miles here. Let me put this on better. About 24 miles here on the ocean. You got about 36 miles here bordering Israel. You got eight miles down here on Egypt. And there are critical areas to understand about what's happening. Hamas took over politically years ago, okay? They have never pursued peace with the Israelis. And you see up here in Gaza City and this refugee camp, you're going to hear a lot about it. And I, you just heard the Israeli president a moment ago. Remember, he had the soundbite. They said, you got a missile in your kitchen. Why can't I tell you got a rocket in your living room? Why can't I take action against you? What the Israeli government knows is that Hamas hides in plain sight in these areas like the refugee camp. And they hide among civilians and residents who live there. And a lot of the attacks so far and the bombing have taken place in the northern part of the Gaza Strip. Khan Yunus, another city down here in the south. This Rafa border crossing here, I just want to make mention of this. That is the only way, if you're a, if you're a Palestinian living in Gaza, that's the only way you can cross out into Egypt. That's been closed. The Israelis hit it first. The Egyptians said, we're going to close it down as well. If you get some sort of negotiation for the Gazans living in there with safe clearance, they could get into Egypt, into Sinai, uh, through this crossing, and apparently there are negotiations right now underway. If you guys got questions, fire away, but that's just a little bit about what, we, what we're looking at tonight. Harold Ford in the region, that's a strike group out here in the eastern Mediterranean, anywhere between six to ten ships uh, in this group. You got the USS Eisenhower that's set to deploy, but it's in Virginia right now. It's going to take about two weeks, but that's going to steam ahead to the eastern Mediterranean as well. With our intelligence, perhaps, you know, we... We can perhaps enable the Israeli special ops to do the job that they need to do, but no one knows this area better than the Hamas militants. Mm -hmm. And the Israelis right now are trying to catch up with their own intelligence tonight. And one of the things that happened.